everyone welcome to my channel and most importantly welcome to this video of how to pay for your tubal or vasectomy reversal now for those who have been following me know that I know nothing about vasectomy reversals <laughs> it is completely not anything I know a few friends that either want it done or have it have had their husbands had it done but I really don't have any firsthand real experience however I do feel like a tubal and vasectomy reversal Aside from the obvious medical standpoint of it, like the financial standpoint is really, really, really similar because a uh, reversal, whether it's tubal, whether it's vas vasectomy, it can range from four to ten thousand dollars. And for the mo for most people out there, that's a really big check to write. <laughs> so I just really wanted to talk to you guys and give a few things that I've thought of that I've talked to a few people on because I that is the biggest thing I hear every day of I would love to have a tubal reversal or I'd love to have for my husband to have a vasectomy reversal but we just don't have the money I don't know when or how we get the money and for some people it can take a couple months for others it can take years so that's just how life is I mean I want to be in Disney World this week but where am I? Well, I'm sitting on this bed talking to you guys because I'm having a baby. <laughs> so I can't, I can't go to Disney World because I don't have the money. Definitely something I'm going to talk to you guys about conventional methods and unconventional methods. So, um, and first off, I mean, for those who are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I'm Stephanie. I had my tubes tied in 2007. I had a tubal reversal in October 2014, and I am now six months pregnant with a baby boy so we're very excited but that's just a little snippet about me so you can kind of know a little bit of why I have this channel and why I do these videos so um the first thing on the conventional method is something that um, me, me and my husband used and I really I think it's a great thing and that is savings whether it's you're just moving money over each paycheck or you're however you're you're doing it into your savings account that's a great way another way is i mean you could be cutting back on maybe just your lights your electric bill different bills getting your cell phone bill your cable bills down and even if you save just forty dollars a month on one specific bill that's that's almost five hundred dollars a year so that that can definitely help you out um, another is obviously what I used is like if I was going to go to uh, like go out to eat to like Chick-fil-A or something because I'm a good big fast food person and I love Chick-fil-A <laughs> but if I said no I'm trying to save for this tubal reversal so I'm going home and I'm gonna have me a nice cheap sandwich um, well then I would move eight to ten dollars over into savings same thing if you were going to buy you something that's maybe not a necessity just something extra you want well if you choose not to buy it then you can move that money over to savings because had you bought that chick-fil-a meal or had you bought that extra item your the money would be missing anyway so it's a really good way to get it going and you will be surprised how fast that savings account just starts adding up. I was shocked. Another way I hear is the tax refund. Now I know this is an option for everyone. It wasn't an option for us, but um, it definitely is a good option to have. Now I don't suggest you putting all those eggs in that basket because as most of us know, the IRS doesn't really let us know what we're gonna owe or get from them until end of January, beginning of February at earliest. So the worst thing ever is to think that you're gonna get this reversal done and then you just don't have the money. So think of different ways that if you don't get near enough or maybe you're just a little short, think of ways that you can kind of supplement there. Another one is loans. Um, now I really don't recommend like getting into debt to have a baby because babies are expensive but some of the options are medical loans you could do you could also do personal loans just like through the bank and um, you can also of course refinance your home or your car and I, I don't think they're the best options if you can do it through money you already have and that you're not gonna have to pay back to someone that's obviously ideal <clears throat> Another option is you can definitely do payment plans. Now, almost any fertility clinic will do this for you is where you just pay a certain amount. Like let's say your surgery is going to be $5,000. Well, then you 
you just like every paycheck, you might just call them and make X amount of payments. And then once you reach that $5,000, then you can call them and you can schedule the surgery and you're good to go. So that's an option. And I think it's a great one. It's one that I would have used if we wouldn't have had the savings option, just because I am like, I'm one of those people that's once it hits my bank, I'm like, Oh, let's go shopping. So it definitely took a lot of self control for me to do the savings option. So if you are one of those people and you just don't think saving is an option, then do a payment plan. It works <clears throat> and kind of a this is in between uh, this is in between conventional and unconventional so it is to lose weight <laughs> a lot now this doesn't really apply if you do a vasectomy reversal because I really again I don't know much or anything about it but I don't think weight plays a factor at all into the surgery but for a tubal reversal, because it is abdominal, weight can play into a factor of not only the surgery, the risk level, but also the price. A lot of fertility clinics um, will give you a lower rate if you're under like a 26 BMI. So it, it definitely can pay off. Now, if you're already under, if you're already in a normal BMI range, well, that's awesome for you and good for being healthy. But um, I did... I actually saved $1,250 by losing 20 pounds. So it was definitely worth it to put that money back into our, our account to help save for the upcoming baby. <clears throat> All right, so some of the unconventional methods is, um, I'm gonna kind of group these two together. It is to do like some kind of GoFundMe or finan financial support like kind of program or page or something like that where family or friends can go in and donate a certain amount of money to go towards your your surgery so that's an option and also you could do it gifts I've heard of where different people have had like family mem members either gift them with the entire cost of their surgery or just m maybe amount here and there from different friends and family uh, now this may not be an option for you if you're doing it like you're really not letting anyone know and you don't want people to know then ob obviously shouting from the rooftop that you want to get a tubular vasectomy reversal might not be the way for you but if you are being open about it then that's a fantastic way um and also another way is student loans and grants now it's not intended for this <laughs> I just want to say that it's not intended for this but I've had her heard it being done um, because a student loan you don't have a credit check if the, the credits a problem for you and you also have a very low APR and it's usually non bearable um, so those are options um, if that's the route you want to go so I mean oh, overall I think those are some really really good options just to kind of get you started get your wheels turned I didn't think of any of these when I was having when I was getting ready to, to, to for my tubal reversal to me I thought it was I saved the money or not because I didn't want to do it alone so <clears throat> it these are definitely options and I hope these have helped you um, if you have any other ideas maybe ways that you paid for your surgery or you've heard about others paying and you're like man that's a good idea please let me know so I can add that on to my list I appreciate you guys if you're you're new to my channel thank you so much for checking this out um, and I hope this was informative for you and you've got to be kidding me <laughs> <laughs> The kitty. <laughs>